Japan visa is free. Okay. Japan vi <laughs> Japan visa is free. However, those a these agencies will <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Alam nyo guys, kakauwi ko lang po galing sa school. Nagtuturo kasi ako ng mga high school. I'm an ALT or assistant language teacher. Uh, yun ang tawag kasi dito sa Japan, sa mga English teachers. So, sa mga first time na nakawatch ng video ko, let me introduce myself. I am Hilda, an English teacher here in Japan. My high school students call me Miss Hilda, and my preschool students call me Hilda Sensei. Yes, nagtuturo rin po ako sa mga preschoolers. At masaya silang turuan, na Makukulit at ang cute ng mga Japanese babies. <laughs> Maraming nagtatanong sa akin, paano ba pumunta sa Japan? Ano-ano bang mga kailangan para makapunta sa Japan? In this video, sasabihin ko sa inyo kung paano mag-apply ng visa papunta dito sa Japan. Uh, okay? But for this video will focus only on tourist visa application. Okay? Okay, first step. Determine, it, kailangan i-determine nyo muna kung ano, what are the types of visa that you'd like to apply. Okay, alamin niyo muna kung ano yung gusto niyo, kung gusto niyo bang mag-travel lang dito, punta lang dito for a limited time, like 15 days or more, uh, less than a month, okay? So, ang kailangan niyo pag ganun is tourist visa. Ito yung short-term visa, either gusto niyo lang pumasyal sa Japan for a week or 15 days or mag-visit ng relatives or friends. Okay? Ah, uh, yung visiting relatives or friends, yun yung ano, yun yung pwede kayong mag-apply ng up to 3 months, 3 months visa. And then after 3 months, pwede niyo pa siyang i-extend ng another 3 months. So, a total of uh, 6 months. Pero take note mga friends, kahit mag-stay ka dito ng uh, as long as 6 months, bawal kang mag-work pag tourist ang visa mo. So, kailangan, uh, andito ka lang talaga as a tourist, hindi pwede mag-work. Okay? Either full-time or part-time. Bawal. Bawal. Dami. Step 2. Prepare the required documents. Okay? Ano-ano ba yung mga required documents? First is the passport. If your passport is about to expire in a few months, make sure to renew your passport before you apply for a visa, for a tourist visa in Japan. Okay? And then, the second is the visa ap application form. You can download it from the description box below. Meron ding sample ng filled out na application form uh, sa description box. Okay, so check it out. Okay, number three is photo. Okay, you have to submit one copy of your photo, uh, a close-up photo for, with a size of 4.5 by 4.5 cm. And um, make sure that, uh, well, that the photo follows the guidelines. Okay, uh, Link for the guidelines are also at the description box. Okay? So, para sure na hindi kayo magkakamali. Okay, number three is the NSO Certified Birth Certificate. You can go to the NSO uh, office to request for a copy of your birth certificate. Or you can order it online. I'm not sure kung magkano siya, kung pipila ka sa NSO office. Hindi ko alam kung magkano. Maybe around 200 to 250. Kung alam nyo, you can comment down below para malaman ko. And uh, about the, uh, if you want to order it online, it is more convenient. Uh, kasi hindi mo na kailangan pumila ng mahaba. 
and uh, considering na mamamasahe ka pa and yung traffic, di ba? So, if you order it online, uh, you will pay, uh, I think, about uh, 350 pesos, okay? Uh, through their online online payment options like uh, MasterCard, Visa Card, or Globe GCash. That is their online payment option. You can also pay uh, through their uh, accredited banks like Metro Bank, BDO, Security Bank, uh, also to their by to Bayad Center, they also accept payment for that, and the Seven Eleven EC Pay and uh, any Banknet ATM. If you want to order your birth certificate online, check out the NSO link at, on the description box below. And take note, pala mga friends, kung late registered kayo, you need to submit your original baptismal certificate and your form 137 or school report card you need also to submit the contact number of the church kung saan kayo bininyagan and uh, the contact number of the school as well minsan humihingi rin sila ng copy ng birth certificate na galing sa mismong local civil registrar kung saan kayo pinanganak okay, for married applicant you need to submit a copy of NSO issued marriage contract. Okay. Okay, for number six is the itinerary for travel. Okay, um, your schedule should cover your entire stay in Japan. This one is also important kasi parang dito magdi-depend kung ilang days yung i-approve sa na visa para sa inyo. So, kung ang nilagay niyong schedule sa itinerary niyo is 15 days, most probably mm, ma-approve kayo ng 15 days na visa. Okay. I also included the link for the sample form on the description box below. Okay. So, uh, if you want to see the a sample of an itinerary for travel, you can see it below. Okay. Okay, so for number 7 is bank certificate. Okay, it should be within 3 months upon the application of your visa. And the amount should be adequate enough to cover all your expenses, including the airfare and your stay in Japan. So, if you're going to stay there, uh, here, I mean here, if you're going to stay here in Japan for 15 days, uh, make sure that you have the uh, enough money at the bank to justify na kaya mong magstay dito for 15 days. Um, maybe around uh, 50,000, siguro, 50,000 pesos, okay na yun. Basta may maipakita lang kayong bank certificate na... Recently lang siya na may balance, may balance ka na uh, maybe 50,000 or more. 50,000 pesos. Okay, and the last but not the least, okay, number eight, uh, required document is the ITR or income tax return. Okay, you need to submit an original copy and one photocopy. So, bali two copies yun. And it should be the most uh, recent, the most, the latest ITR na na nanggani, ifinile nyo sa BIR. Okay, so tapos na tayo dun sa required documents. Step 3 na tayo. Okay, so step 3 na tayo. For step 3, choose the accredited agency. Uh, unlike uh, for up to Unlike when you're applying for a visa in the U.S. or other countries, for uh, Japan, when you apply for a visa in Japan, uh, there's no need for a personal appearance. Dadaan ka lang sa agency. So, pipili ka lang ng accredited agency kung saan mo ipapasa yung mga required documents and then sila yung magpa-process. Japan visa is free, however, these agencies will charge you for 
processing your document okay so i i wrote here um some of the accredited agencies for your reference and uh, the fee that they will charge you and uh, the places where they have an office or branches okay here are some of the accredited agencies and their respective fees attic tours in pasay and cebu they also have an office at sm north SM North EDSA, okay? They charge 1500 for uh, processing. And then, Discovery Tour in Makati, Cebu, and Davao, 800 pesos. Friendship Tours and Resorts Corporation in Makati and Cebu, 1200 Pan Pacific Travel in Makati and Ermita, 1000 pesos. Raja Travel in Makati and Ermita, 1,500. Rally Tours in Makati, Pasay, Mandaluyong, Binondo, and Las Piñas. So, marami. Marami silang branches. They charge 1,200. Universal Holidays in Makati, 1,200 also. Okay. So, those are the accredited agencies. I also put the link uh, for these uh, travel agencies on the description box below. So, make sure to check it out if, if, you, want to, if you want to apply for a tourist visa in Japan. Step 4, wait for the results. Okay, that is the final step and the most nakakakaba step. <laughs> Kasi hindi mo alam kung deny ka or approve ka okay after you submit your documents to an accredited agency you'll just have to wait for them to call you uh, sometimes they will call you for an additional documents or they will call you if they already have the result okay and then uh, they will notify you to pick up your passport and then, pag nakuha mo yung passport mo, doon mo makikita kung deny ka or approve ka. Okay? Visa processing normally takes 2 to 5 business days. So, pag yung application mo ay tumagal ng more than 1 week, it's possible that your application has been denied. So, that's a bad news. Pero, konti lang naman yung mga nadedenay. Paalala lang po, submission of documents does not guarantee issuance of visa. May mga situation na nadedenay din. Siguro kung may kulang sa documents mo, or uh, hindi enough yung documents na pinasa mo, or nagpasa ka ng peking dokumento, halimbawa, peking ITR, may mga tao dyan na nagdodoktor ng ITR. So, para makasiguradong mabibigyan kayo ng visa, okay, make sure na genuine lahat yung ipapasa yung documents. So, ayun. Ayun na po lahat ng step-by-step -step process. On my next video, i-discuss ko naman kung paano mag-apply ng tourist visa ng may guarantor na kamag-anak or kaibigan dito sa Japan. Ito yung tourist visa na pwede kayong ma-approve up to, up to 3 months and pwede mong extend for another 3 months. So, yun, the, ang tawag dun is visiting relatives or visiting friends in Japan. Yun yung mga may guarantor na relatives or friends. Friends na hapon or relatives na permanent resident dito sa Japan. Okay. Kung may mga gusto pa kayong malaman about sa pagpunta dito sa Japan, please comment down below and I will try to answer it all. Pwede rin kayong magtanong about how to apply for an intern visa, student visa, English teacher, or anything na may kinalaman sa dito sa Japan. I-comment nyo lang sa baba at susubukan kong sagutin lahat siya. Alright! 
So, I think that's all for this video. Kung may natutunan kayo sa video na to, please give it a thumbs up. At pwede nyo rin itong isave sa playlist nyo ng anything about Japan. Para when the time comes na gusto nyo mag-apply ng visa papunta dito sa Japan, pwede nyo itong i-play uli para mapanood nyo at malaman nyo yung mga information na kailangan nyo malaman. Pwede nyo rin itong i-share para mapanood ng mga kakilala nyo na gustong mag-apply papunta dito sa Japan, di ba? At para magka-idea sila kung papaano ang gagawin nila kung gusto nilang pumunta dito. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell below. Jane, Goodbye!